what's going on everyone hope you guys are all having an amazing day and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get a better understanding on when to get in for a good buy and the series of indicators that I use I'm really going to be focusing on one so I don't want this video to be too long uh, but one indicator that I use to get a better understanding on when to get in for a good buy for a swing trade so a lot of you guys have been asking like when it came down to taking a position that I did on USLV um, how did I have the understanding uh, or you know what is it that I used to have a better understanding that it was about to reverse. Um, and it was the MACD indicator. It's actually something that I've talked about before. If you're part of the Learn Plan Profit Group, which is my course group, I have a video talking about the MACD indicator and how it is that I leverage it to get a better understanding for a good buy. I'm also making a detailed video that is a little bit more detailed than this one that gives you actual examples and concepts on what it is that I've done before in the past to get a better understanding on when something is peaking out, so when it's a good time to sell, and also when, it, when it's a good time to sell. So that's gonna be for those that are part of Learn, Plan, Profit. But in this video, let's go ahead and talk about how to get a better understanding or how is it that I use the MACD indicator uh, to get in uh, for a good buy. So what it is that I saw for something like USLV was um, I'm going to focus a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. So this is the 180-day four-hour chart. Four-hour chart. I'm using the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform, and this is the MACD indicator that you see right here. It's these bars that end up peaking out. These bars uh, that end up like you know bottoming out. So what it is that I look for is the peak and the bottom. That it, it's that simple. So as you see that this is showing signs of a continuous downtrend, you can see, and it's obvious that you need to know other patterns and other indicators, it's showing signs of a continuous downtrend, getting rejected by the EMA, and it's trying to reverse back up. You can see within the past couple of days, as it's becoming more oversold, right, with the RSI indicator, you can have a better understanding, again, zooming out, as it's approaching this support at around 950, you can see that the, the decay is starting to gradually you know, decay at a much slower pace. It's, it's not making really any lower lows anymore. Really what it's doing, it's really starting to bottom out and it's starting to show some signs of consolidation. So what I saw here was that the MACD indicator started to catch up with it and it started to almost want to signal a buy signal. I really don't care too much about the buy and the sell signals for the MACD as I never like to rely on any sole one indicator, right? You should never rely on any sole indicator. But what it is that I saw is that I took the MACD into consideration on how oversold it was, how it was showing signs of a reversal, right? That it was showing signs of a potential buy signal soon as it's done multiple times when it's bottomed out, right? So it, it showed a buy signal as we can see right here, uh, showed a buy signal around when it broke above the EMA. Again, uh, where did it show another one? It broke, uh, again, it kind of does it like around the EMA indicator. But what I really want you guys to focus on is by using the MACD indicator, by being able to see when something is very oversold, and is showing signs of a continuous downtrend, it's still essential to wait for the confirmation, at least in my opinion, for the break above the 180-day EMA, but something to get the, to get a better understanding of when something is about to reverse, I really like to leverage and keep a very close eye on the MACD indicator as it starts to show signs of a reversal. So I want to focus in this area right here. When it started to show signs of this huge rush up, have you guys ever had the question of like, okay, it surpassed the resistance that it previously had before, which is right now what we're calling $11, right? $11 is the resistance. But let's say the momentum is going very strong, there is no signs of a, reverse, of a reversal, and it's still showing signs of a continuous uptrend. When is it that you can get a better understanding of when it might start showing signs of a reversal, right? Do you wait for pullbacks? Do you wait for overall confirmation of a downward pattern? Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that. What you can start to see, as zooming in into this area, you could start to see as it started to approach $11.80, these MACD indicator bars, these green bars that you can see right here, really started to flatline, and then you can see that the bars are starting to get smaller. It's, it's never 100%. There's multiple times that it shows a potential reversal, and then it goes green again again. If there's some form of catalyst, there's nothing that the MACD indicator can you know, predict in the future of what might happen, but it's a pretty good indicator of when you see that something is so over so, so overbought, and you can see that these bars are starting to peak out, and then there's a potential reversal, you can make the technical assumption based on your technical analysis, based on the MACD indicator, that it's hitting signs of a peak. And with that understanding, then you can give yourself the reassurance that, hey, it's way overbought, it's no longer a good deal, I'm, I, can, I have the potential to sell for a really good price, and you can see the MACD indicator starting to signal a potential you know, reversal, so it might be time to sell at the peak. Again, it's never 100%, but at least you can start viewing some form of indicator while something becomes very overbought 
were very oversold on when it's a good time to buy. And once I started really seeing that it started getting very consolidated, very oversold, then that's what gave me the reassurance to you know uh, take a small position and then start averaging up as it confirmed that uptrend pattern, which led to my green trade, as you guys can see, you know over here or over here, um, eighteen hundred dollars on that one day, right? Um, and that's really just it. I need you guys to become more familiar with this indicator if you see value in it. You sold, you'd never have to rely on any sole indicator, but I hope that this video can give you a better understanding how on swing trades, you can have a better understanding of when to cover profits when something becomes more overbought and when you could potentially get in for a good position uh, and average up uh, for a good buy. So again, become familiar with it. I think the TD Ameritrade platform offers a, a, an amazing paper trading and simulation trading platform, which means that you don't have to trade with real money. You get to test out everything that you learn, and that is something that we actually encourage people to do that are part of Learn, Plan, and Profit, is if you've ever wanted to get started and you're going through our course that showcases everything it is that you need to know about investing in the stock market and what has led to my success, then we encourage you for the first at least month to two months, right? If possible, as you're learning new things in the course, to test it out with simulation and paper trading. It's the best way to test the waters. There's no monetary risk, and all the mistakes that you make are with fake money. You get to trade real stocks, real ETFs. You get to trade with me live and watch me trade live every single day if you're part of the Learn, Plan, and Profit course group. And the amazing thing about this, it's, it's real experience, real trading with no monetary risk. So all you have to do is focus for the next two months to understand patterns, to understand what it is that you're investing in, become as refined as possible so you can learn how to consistently grow your account so then you can make a fluid transition from a paper trading simulation trading account to a real brokerage account. And in the meanwhile, for the two months, you could start saving money, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. $3,000 would be the recommended, in my opinion, to fund your account. And then you can start as because for the past two months, you've proven to yourself that you understand patterns, that you know how to grow your account, and that you know how to manage your risk. You can make that fluid transition of doing that with the real account and start you know, uh, seeing that consistent and gradual growth. So that is really just it, guys. Again, all the information is down below. If you guys want to learn more about my private group, the Learn, Plan, Profit course group that gets to watch me trade live every single day, um, again, that's the first link in the description. And also, we have one of the fastest and largest growing free private trading communities out there. It's called TechWood Solutions. We have a little bit over 95,000 members. It's that third link in the description, and we would love to be a part of your success. If you guys aren't subscribed already, we'd love to be a part of your success. If you guys want to click that subscribe button, and be sure to uh, turn on those little post notifications, uh, that little bell on, as we do go live every single day. Thank you guys again. Continue working hard. Continue following your dreams. Let your passion be what drives your success. Make someone smile today. Get them some raising canes. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And like always, guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team. I'm at my prime. I'm at my. I'm at my prime. Whoa. Uh, have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look.